a lot of people say that when one door closes, another one opens. And I disagree, because sometimes you have to break that door down. This is the most anticipated, exciting, and nerve-wracking thing I think I've ever done, because I'm coming out with lip products. This collection is so much more than makeup. I have realized that with everything that I have been given in life, how important it is for me to be a role model to so many different people. To the young girls out there who are different, who don't fit in, who are bullied, who have a big dream and feel like no one encourages them, you can be whatever you wanna be. Even if a million people tell you no, it doesn't matter. It is up to you. You are the only one in control of your life and your destiny. Even when I look at my nieces, I just have no choice but to stand up, to rise up, and be the best that I can be for them. And that's exactly what this collection represents. So I say, own your mistakes, own who you are, and be pout spoken. Okay, you guys, I don't even know how to do a proper intro right now. I kind of am like blacked out. I don't even remember how I typically do an intro, but I am so excited for today's video. I feel like I could very easily just burst into tears, but right now I am just like, over the moon, like ants in my pants, like have been pacing around my house by myself for the past hour and a half. Like just can't even believe that this day is here and I am filming this video. Ah! For those of you who've been following me for the past couple of years and have seen my journey with cosmetics and the products I have put out, there have been a lot of ups and downs. And we all know what happened with my first launch for my brand of Jack and Cosmetics when I launched Lips. I had to make a choice to either just go away, hide, never come back, let myself slip into a depression, which I did for several months. And I was like, I'm never doing anything lips again. I don't even wanna launch anything again. Like I'm a failure. I had my pity party. And then one day I was like, you know what? No, I have been blessed with this platform and been given millions of followers and a lot of young impressionable minds of young boys and girls who look up to me. This is me showing you that you need to believe in yourself don't give up. I learned a lot of lessons, made a lot of mistakes, but I'm gonna change that and I'm going to prove that to you guys. This right here is my entire pout spoken collection, 15 liquid lipsticks and 12 lip liners. I am so proud of this collection and I am so excited. And the name has so much meaning to me because it is so important to me to be outspoken, to you know, live your truth. You, let the world know how you feel. Don't give up on yourself. When you feel like you need to speak up, if you see something going on, have a voice and believe in yourself. So I wanted to name it out spoken, but we turned it into pout spoken right here. I'm so excited for you guys to see this. I'm going to jump into the video. I'm going to give you guys all the swatches so you can see all the different undertones, all of the different neutrals. <laughs> okay. So let me take this off. This just slides right off of the PR package. And then you guys can see the actual collection in all of its glory right here. <laughs> Isn't this packaging so dope? Like I can't get over it. I love it so much. You guys know that my entire house is very neutral, very black and white. So I wanted to bring black into my brand because it just feels like me. It's what I love. The ombre packaging is just so gorgeous with this rose gold font. Like I am so obsessed with the packaging, but even more obsessed with the formula. The formula is absolutely in saying, you know what a perfectionist I am, although I have messed up in the past. I truly, truly believe so much in this formula and in these shades as well, like out of this world, beautiful. So we have 15 different liquid lips and they are all nude, <laughs> all different shades of nude. I worked so hard to perfect the shades and I am so excited for you guys to see them. And then up here we have 12 liners, which even if you are not a liner type of person, I swear if you try these, you're going to be a liner person. I feel like I really developed the perfect lip liner. Like even my friends and family who have never cared about lip liner, never worn it, after they tried these, they're like, okay, now I can't go a day without your lip liners because they are so amazing. I don't mean to toot my own horn, but like at the same time, beep beep, you know? Amazing, not super dry, not too creamy. They last for such a long time, moisturizing on the lips, just an amazing formula. And these two together, match made in heaven. And you might be thinking like, why 15 liquid lips and 12 liners? The reason I did it that way, I didn't wanna package it like a, necessarily like a lip kit, where like every single shade has its matching liner. Because for me personally, I like to have like my go-to liners, like three shades that are like, my shades, and then I use that as the base, and then I can go in with different liquid lips on top, or lipsticks on top, or gloss on top, whatever it is. I don't need necessarily a shade to match my liquid lipstick 
perfectly. So I kind of wanted to give you guys like options, you know? So these do not match. They are not like this liquid lip goes with this liner. I want you guys to be able to like switch and swap back and forth and find your shades and then mix them together and have fun with it. Like that's what it's all about. Okay, so I'm gonna stop babbling and I'm just gonna jump into this. Let's start swatching. All right, so I'm going to jump into Les Swatches. So I do wanna tell you guys this, although I don't feel like it's necessary to say, I do wanna let you guys know, when I had my original lip launch two years ago, I had such positive feedback about the shades, like just the actual shades and the way it looked on your skin tones. So because of that, I did use several of my lipsticks as shade mark benches. You know what I'm saying? Like, so there are several shades in this lineup that are gonna look very similar. Like for instance, the shade Mom, that was like my tribute to my mother, I recreated that in a liquid lipstick here and it's called Mama. So I did take some shades that you guys were like obsessed with when that came out and you're like, this shade is so good, the shade is so good. And I did make those shades in my liquid lipstick formula. So it's just kind of, again, you know, it's like I had a moment where I was like, I'm ignoring the lipsticks. I'm acting like it never happened. Like, I, I wish I could just literally delete that time of my life. Like, uh, like get, get on Twitter and delete a tweet. Like it never happened, right? But it did happen. And the only way that I could overcome it is by doing this. Taking a moment to really realize that is part of my story. Yes, I lost followers. Yes, I lost trust. Yes, I handled it very improperly. But you know what? It is part of my story. You live, you learn, you grow. And I am here to earn your trust and I'm here to earn your respect. And that starts with new lip products for Jaclyn Cosmetics. So I am super excited for you guys to get these in your hands. I'm super excited about all the shades. They are so beautiful. Like I said, I worked so, 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 so hard on these shades. So I'm gonna... <sighs> Pull this up and get to swatching. I hope you guys can see on camera just how beautiful this component is. Of course, there's gonna be tons of product shots all over my Jaclyn Cosmetics brand page on Instagram, so you'll be able to see all that and on the website. Every little thing about this launch, I have been a psycho person about it for the past year. Also, I know that people are very picky about their scents, so my scent is very light but also sweet, kind of like a bakery, vanilla, definitely, but it's not intense. Like if you don't think about it, you probably won't even smell it. But if you really are like someone who loves a scent like I do, you're gonna be like, mm -hmm. got like a little vanilla, a little yumminess in there, but nothing that's like, oh God, that's a lot. Okay, so first shade is Nudie right here. And this is the palest shade in the collection. As you can see with one swipe, it is extremely pigmented as any liquid lipstick of course should be. The thing about Nudie is if you're super, super fair, you will love this, especially paired with a lip liner. But the thing that I love about this shade for myself personally, especially when I have a tan, this would not work on me completely by itself. I would look like I just got doing some extracurricular activity or like I just ate a powdered sugar donut, it would not be cute on me. But I love to take this shade and dab it in the center of my lip with any color that I'm wearing, literally like dab right there blot, kind of pat it out, and it's just gonna give you that little pouty moment, a little outspoken moment. Next, we have the shade Get Real. This, you guys, I'm gonna say this about every shade, aren't I? Every single shade is so beautiful, but Get Real is so good. And when I have all these lined up, you're gonna be like, well, what the hell do I choose? Because there's so many of them that are so bomb. But Get Real is just like a super muted, kind of like pinky rosy, not pink though, not rose, but it's like a pinky rosy nude and very flattering. Something that was super important to me that I was like going crazy over with the labs and my team is I feel like we're at a place where for some reason so many liquid lips lean very purple tone right now in the industry and I don't like it. I feel like it makes me look dead and I can kind of get away with it when I'm really, really fair. But once I get a tan, I'm like, this looks purple and almost gray undertone on my lips. So in my collection, I wanted everything to be neutral and warm. Now I do have some cool tones that are like a little more mauvey purple, but for the most part, I just wanted us to have like true nudes that you can pair with your liquid lip just for any shade, any skin tone, just feel you in the nude. Next, this is the shade, oh hi. And you have to say it like that. You know, I would really appreciate that. Anyone who like gets on the internet, it has to be, oh hi because that's how, <laughs> that's how we all greet my dogs. We have like a little voice for them and like Lolly or Tipsy will walk in. I'm like, oh hi. That right here is, oh hi. This is definitely, I feel like going to be one of the most popular shades for very fair girls because it's got that perfect pinky undertone and it leans on the cool side. It's pretty neutral, but it leans a little bit on the cool side. So for those of you who are like really light, maybe like light skin, blonde hair, oh hi, oh hi. <laughs> 
is gonna be really, really beautiful on you. Now we have the shade Empowered right here. This one is much more neutral and a little bit on the warmer side than Oh Hi, because you guys, I just wanted to give you all the vibes. All the vibes, you know? Like if a guy were to look at all my lipsticks, they'd be like, they're all the same, but they're really not. They are so different because every single one of them has a different undertone. And you might put on Oh Hi and be like, uh, but then put on Empowered and be like, bitch, that's my shade. And that's what I'm trying to do for you is give you that neutral, everyday, can't live without lipstick moment. Now we have the shade Confidence and we're getting into a little bit of a deeper tone. Such a beautiful shade, like, oh honey. This is a much warmer tone, has a little bit of orange in it, but not orangey at all. I just know that there's orange in it because I asked the lab to like warm it up and put a little orange in it because it was looking a little too purple once again. Like I feel like so many shades in the industry are so purple and I was like, mm-mm. So, I love the shade. This is definitely one of my go-tos personally. This is right here is in the shade Be Brave. Um, and I actually named this because of my tailor, like my seamstress who I've been going to for years. There was one time that I had like all these pins all over my body, like I was trying on a dress. Actually, it was years ago. I think it's for my champagne pot party. And I had all these pins on and I had to take the dress off. And I was like, I'm so scared I'm gonna poke myself. And she was like, be brave and walked away. And I was like, oh my God, we were like dying laughing. It was so funny the way she said it. So I wanted just to like, pay respect to that moment and the fact that we say it all the time, like anytime something's going on, we're like, be brave, be brave, be brave. Um, this right here is definitely more of a purpley mauve undertone. Like I said, there's not a lot of that in the collection, but this one, be brave, definitely does have that moment for you. Like, a, hey, no, no, no. Definitely a little bit more 90s, a little bit more rosy, absolutely gorgeous, but it does have a cooler undertone to it. Oh, bitch, this shade right here. <gasps> This is in the shade Truth. Girlfriend, I wear this like crazy. This shade is so good. It is like the perfect neutral pinkish beige. Mm, and the way it dries down, like I wear this like crazy. This is such a good shade. And I wear over so many different liners too. Like I will mix and match this with like five different liners in my collection depending which vibe I'm feeling that day, like darker or lighter, you can really just like have fun and play with it. And that's what I wanted to do. Like I just wanted to create a collection where you guys can mix and match different liners with different liquid lips and just like create something of your own, not necessarily like matchy matchy, you know? Okay, so this one is in the shade Krabby. This right here, I've had a love affair with this shade, you guys. Like, oh my God, get ready for how good this is. This is freaking beautiful. And what I love about this shade, is I feel like Krabby looks good on every single skin tone. Like from the fairest people that we've tried it out on to the darkest, I'm like, this looks good on everyone. Like it just is so beautiful. It's so rosy and it's so neutral. Like it doesn't pull orange, it doesn't pull purple. It is, oh, it's so good. And I named it Crab because I'm a Cancer and therefore I'm a crab and I love crab. So I was like, Krabby, but also, Kind of like when you're fussy and you're pissy, you're crabby. And I was like, oh, it's cute. Like it's a play on words, we can have fun with it. So crabby. This one right here is the most, I guess you would say colorful, I'm like trying to like do quotations. This is the most colorful shade in the collection. This is Mama. This is my mom's shade. When I came out with the lipsticks, this was called Mom, but I renamed it Mama because I didn't want to name anything the same because it's just, it's a different time. So. This is Mama right here. My mom approved it to make sure that she still loved the shade. So beautiful, so pinky, but also so wearable. It's not like pink pink and it's not purple. It's just a wearable pink shade and I, I love this shade. Okay, so this right here, this next one, this is the shade that I wore in my most recent makeup tutorial. Remember how I like left camera and I was like, I can't tell you what I'm wearing, but hey, you'll see soon. This is it right here. And this is in the shade Outspoken. Like the collection is named Poutspoken. This is Outspoken. It is such a beautiful pink. Oh my God. And like, it's the most wearable pink. Cause like, I didn't want to create anything like pink, pink, like Barbie pink. Not yet. We'll get there. But this is so gorgeous. You guys, I wear this color so much, especially like I did in my tutorial with my volume two palette, like all those rosy mauvey shades on the eyes. Bitch, I'm obsessed. With, I'm obsessed with Outspoken. It's so good. I gotta take off the watch cause we're gonna run out of room. Okay, now we have the shade Absolutely. This one, we're definitely getting more into that brown tone, but still neutral, but so 
gorgeous. Like this right here is the color that I wear constantly when I have a tan. And when I say tan, keep in mind, my tan is not that tan unless I like double or triple tan, then I get pretty dark. But when I say tan, I'm talking like a, a little glow, like what I am right now. This shade absolutely is so beautiful because it's just a nude. It's not pink, it's not brown, it's not orange, it's not purple, it's not mauve. It's just a nude and it's so beautiful. And again, it's a shade that's really fun to mix with different liners because you can just kind of like manipulate it and change it up. Next one is what I am currently wearing on my lips right now. And this is in the shade I'm a Cancer. And I love this shade so much and I think it's so beautiful. So I was like, you know what? I love it. I'm a Cancer. Let's name it that. You know, I gotta tell you, when I come up with these names, I don't really know what's going through my mind sometimes. I'm just like, absolutely, write that down. Okay, now we have the shade Gratitude. This one gets even deeper than I'm a Cancer. Definitely geared towards, I mean, obviously you can wear whatever you want when you want, but this is really, really beautiful on like medium to deep skin tones, like gorgeous. It's got like a little bit of like that camel undertone in it, which is just so flattering. You guys, I worked really, really hard on these undertones. That was the thing for me. Like once I nailed the formula, I was like, all right, now let's work on undertones. Cause it's so important. You can love a nude shade and then put it on and just be like, just doesn't work with my skin. Why is it looking kind of orangey or too pinky or ashy or purpley or gray? And I just, I don't want that for you guys. So I worked really, really, really hard on these undertones and I tested these on hundreds of people to make sure that everyone else approved and it was a 10 out of 10. So I hope you like it. All right, so second to last, we have the shade Be Bold right here. Oh my God, I love this shade. So I definitely created this with darker skin tones in mind. But I have worn this shade several times on my fair skin and it is so, so beautiful and so fun to like mix with different liners. Again, I keep going back to the liners. Like it's just so fun to like put them together and just create different looks for yourself. Be Bold definitely has some red in it. It's more on the neutral side. It's not crazy red and crazy warm. I didn't want it to feel like a brick color, but it is, it, it's just so pretty. It's so flattering on different skin tones. And last but not least is our darkest shade, which is in the shade Feisty right here. A very neutral, very deep brown. Holy cow, my model on set, I sadly was not able to be there um, when they shot this campaign out in LA, but the model on set wore this shade and I was like watching the whole thing on Zoom all day long and I was just like, <sighs> when I saw her in this color, I was like, that's exactly what I was hoping for. Like just so beautiful. So that right there is the full 15 shade lineup of my liquid lips. <sighs> Can you even believe this guys? Cause I can't, I'm like really having a hard time wrapping my mind around the fact that I'm actually launching liquid lips. Okay, so just to like make this kind of easy for me and then be able to like show you both swatches, I'm just gonna swatch the liners right here on the side of my arm so that you can see them kind of all together, right? That makes sense. Okay, so all the liners in my collection are named after like foods and drinks and just like yummy stuff like that. One day I was just like, I don't know, what am I gonna name everything? Naming things is such a strange process because you're like, oh my God, people are gonna be like saying to their friend, like, oh, hey, I use, you know, such and such lip liner. And I'm like, oh, what do I want it to be called? But I had really a fun time naming all this. So my liquid lips, like they have names just that are like meaningful to me and fun to me and empowering you know, especially from what happened in the past with my lip watch. I just wanted it to be like, you know, empowered and be bold and be brave and all that. But my liners, I was like, let's just make it cute and yummy, you know? So the first shade right here is our palest shade and this is Blondie right there. This is definitely a more cool tone nude, but I use this one actually a lot, especially when I am more fair and don't have a spray tan. Blondie is one of my favorites. And by the way, when I named it Blondie, I was thinking about the brownie, not like, Blonde hair, you get it? Next one is chai tea. And this is actually what I am wearing right now underneath of, I'm a Cancer. <laughs> so I'm wearing chai tea and I'm a Cancer right now, that combination. I'm actually gonna make these a little bit bolder so you can see them. Like I'm gonna like draw them out like this, right? the same way that you can see the liquid lips. I'm like, why would I make that so skinny? Next we have coffee cake. This one, we start to get a little bit more brown and a little bit more neutral. Again, I wear this one all the time. I wear all three of these all the time. You guys, I would say there's probably only like three, maybe four lip liners that aren't like my go-to. Like I switch these up like crazy. Now we have butter pecan. Do you guys say pecan or pecan? Because I say pecan and Jordan says pecan. And I'm like, 
why do you say it like that? What's wrong with you? <laughs> I'm kidding, but also serious. So I would say if I had to pick one, butter pecan is my number one go-to. Like if I had to choose one from the entire collection for me personally, that's like, this is the only liner that you get for the rest of your life, it would be butter pecan. That would not be an easy thing for me to do, but it would be the right thing for me to do. It's just, it works the best with my skin tone and I feel like it pairs so well with so many different shades. I am on a roll, people! Okay, oh, this one's good. Macaroon, macaron. I don't know how you actually would pronounce that. This one is definitely very pinky, like a little baby pinky moment. So for me, if I don't wanna change the color of my liquid lip at all, and I literally just wanna like do like a little tracing to know where I'm going to apply it, I would go with macaroon for that because it is definitely more on the paler pinky side and it's not gonna like give any depth to the liquid lip. It's just gonna kind of give you like that pouty little girly moment and tell you where you wanna line your lips. <sighs> this liner right here, cupcake. Girl, okay, so let me tell you. I love cupcakes so much because this is also the shade that I used in my last makeup tutorial when I was wearing that pinky lip. When I was wearing Outspoken, I paired it with cupcake. They are a match made in heaven. If I was selling bundles, I would put cupcake and I would put Outspoken together. Match made in heaven for that perfect, just like yummy, cupcakey, rosy, beigey pink. Mm, so good. Now we have Caramel Latte right here. This one is definitely a little bit more, sorry, I'm trying to get the swatched good. A little bit more purpley mauve -y. I know I don't have a ton of purpley mauve in this collection, but it's definitely necessary for some skin tones, so I wanted to give that to you. This one right here is in the shade Bourbon. I love this color. It's getting a little bit deeper. It's neutral with a, it's a little cool, but not too cool, but it's so beautiful and so easy to pair with other liquid lips. I keep saying that about everything, but I swear, there's just like so many liners in this collection. They're so easy to pair. Oh, I love this color before I even like swatch it. I'm like, mm, so good. This, hi Georgie. Hi dude, you wanna say hi? gonna talk for a little bit. Okay, so this is in the shade Praline. I feel like Praline is gonna be probably a pretty big hit once people start to get their hands on these because this shade is gold, pure gold. This one right here, the name of this is just is like the cutest thing and brings back the best memories ever. This is the shade Hot Tea. Oh my gosh, that actually like matches the one above it perfect. And this actually, weirdly enough, I'm a Cancer is swatched right above it and they're like a perfect match to one another, which I'm a Cancer is what I'm wearing, but I paired it with Chai Tea and this one is Hot Tea. So as you can see, you can play around and have fun. Like you don't need a matching liner. Just enjoy yourself and give yourself your lips depth and the pouty effect however you want. Okay, only two left. <laughs> this one right here is in the shade Toasty. We start getting way darker with this one right here. Very neutral brown, very like milk chocolate. Do you hear Georgie up here just snorting away? He loves to make it sound like I'm farting all the time. It's like his favorite, like I was saying. This is a very milk chocolatey color, super neutral and super pretty. Last but not least, this is the shade Bold Brew. And this is the darkest, richest liner that we have. This is a little on the cool tone, cool tone side? Little on the cool tone side, but honestly more neutral than anything. Like it pulls on the lips and on the skin. But there you have all 15 liquid lips and all 12 liners. What do you think, Georgie? Come on, Joey, she's a good boy. You're a cat dog. My liquid lips are gonna be $20 a piece and my lip liners $18 a piece. I cannot wait for you guys to get these in your hands. They are so beautiful and I am so excited and so anxious and antsy and nervous and oh my God, just all the emotions for you guys, my customer, my subscribers, the people who have followed me through all of this through thick and thin, for you guys to get this in your hands and give me your feedback. Like I cannot wait. I have built an entire new team. I have worked so hard, you guys, in 2020. I was just silent and quiet and literally just like hustling to make this happen. I can't wait for you guys to see what 2021 has in store for my brand. It's insane and it's gonna be amazing. I hope that you guys love my product so much and I'm just, I'm so thankful and grateful for this opportunity and to come back with lip products. You, you wanna talk about it, George? 
He's such a ham sandwich. Like the fact that he jumps up here and does this. Oh, look at that man. All right, you guys. So that is it for this video. I feel like it was kind of short and sweet, but also it's probably going to be like 30 minutes long. But I am so excited to finally introduce to you my palette spoken collection. Lips are back, baby, and they are not going anywhere. And I am so thrilled for you guys to get these in your collection. Like my subscribers to actually be able to try them. Like I'm going to be peeing my pants until that day happens. I'm gonna be stalking social media, just waiting for your orders to ship, waiting for you guys to get this and give me your full reviews and tell me how you feel about this because I am so proud of them. The quality control on this has been, a bitch, you have no idea. I don't know if any other brand out there has a quality control team like mine is now. Like that's where all my money is going because I'm like, it's never gonna happen again. So again, these are launching next Thursday, March 18th, 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And then these will be launching in Ulta in May. I know that there's like a pretty big gap for the Ulta shopper, but that's just how it is like going forward. A lot of times there will be like a grace period for Jaclyn Cosmetics and Ulta, but they will be receiving these products down the line in May just not immediately. So that's it. I will see you guys on Jacqueline Cosmetics on the 18th. I cannot wait. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you soon. Bye guys.